What's up, YouTube? It's Eric, a Lions fan. Thanks for clicking in on this video. Got to give Sparty credit today. They win against the Duke Blue Devils 68-67. to Just kind of going to give my real quick thoughts on it here. Not really going to be a long video. I think I always say that and you end up being like 10 minutes long or something like that. But anyway, let's get to it here. Um, going shot with about 33 seconds to go was the uh, the key basket in a very close game to have Michigan State win today. I thought everyone kind of played well. They played up to their expectations. I thought the defense was very good that Tom Izzo put out on the floor today. Zion Williamson, he was going to get his points. So he pretty much just, I'm not going to say you have to leave the guy alone, but you know he's going to get his points. So you just kind of know you're going to default that, hey, he's going to get 20 plus points, maybe even 30. But you just kind of, kind of really just hang around there. And that's what kind of Michigan State did. Uh, Michigan State kind of went up and then Duke kind of turned around the momentum to come to come back, and then Michigan State had another run to kind of tie it up there. Uh, I think they Michigan State was up by, I want to say up by two at half. I could be wrong about that. I'm just kind of fully relying on memory here. I have the uh, uh, the Michigan State uh, page up here for ESPN, Michigan State, and Duke there, uh, the box score. Um, but I'm going to kind of get to this here in just a minute. But Kenny Goins only went two for eight from three-point land, and the one that counted was the last one that was in 33 seconds. Uh, I thought at times... Uh, when they got the ball down to Ward, uh, whoever was on Ward couldn't be stopped. Even Williamson couldn't really stop him. I thought Ward, when he kind of got in right by the basket, he tried to do a little bunny shot. I would have thought, take it hard to the basket and kind of dunk the basketball. Uh, and along with Tillman, too. Tillman was kind of right in there, kind of tried to do those little bunny shots, and they popped out. I bet they could've, probably could have scored an extra probably six, eight, ten points there. If they just would have took the initiative, powered it in there, and kind of dunked the basketball over over the Duke defenders, they, they had a very good game plan going in there. I was I was quite surprised. I didn't necessarily think Michigan State was going to win this game, but they ended up doing it. Uh, McQuaid too. I thought he's for a senior. I still think he's too timid not to take the basketball and to kind of go in in on the basket there. Now that one spot where he did the little. 180 and he kind of shot it up behind the back of his head and it went in even he was kind of kind of surprised it went in but I also think he I think he thought he got fouled too and the refs never called it now I will say for Zion Williamson that that man gets a lot of calls in college basketball I was there was a couple of times there he kind of pushed off on defenders and no whistle was being called on Tillman where Tillman was trying to go up for a rebound I also thought Michigan State did well on the boards I think Tom Izzo kind of preaches that uh, going into any game, he goes tells him to rebound the basketball, and more or less, more times than not, if he if you win the rebounding battle, you're kind of more or less going to win the game, uh, especially on the defensive end, and not allow Duke to have too many offensive uh, second chances. Now they did have a couple, but I thought they kept it to a minimum as far as as far as I could tell. But yeah, I mean, this was a very very good basketball game. I, all the games thus far have been good. Uh, I also thought the Auburn can't or. Uh, Kentucky game, I about said Kansas. Auburn-Kentucky was another good game. Uh, Auburn came out on top there. Uh, the one that kind of really kind of really irks me was the Purdue game. Purdue had that game won, and then they kind of let Virginia right back into the game, and kind of Virginia ended up winning the basketball game. So uh, the only one, that, the last Big Ten team is Michigan State. I thought Purdue, again, I thought Purdue won the game, ha not handily, but I thought they won the game going into the last seconds, which I didn't make a video on. But I thought they could have. They were they were worthy of coming into the Final Four here as well, as was Virginia. But Texas Tech is next on the thing for Michigan State. We all know what they did to Michigan. Uh, I'm still qu quite surprised by the throb or <laughs> thumping that they got by to Michigan here, uh, going into the Sweet 16 game. Uh, that was that was a show that I wasn't I wasn't necessarily ready for. I'll put it that way. I, and like if you guys watch the next video, I kind of thought the score was going to be reversed in that game. So, but on to Michigan, on to the Final Four. Now you have for your Final Four, you have Michigan State, Texas Tech, Virginia, and Auburn. Now, that Virginia Auburn game is going to be another good game to watch as Michigan State and Texas Tech. But uh, Texas Tech is no slouch, guys. No slouch. Any Wolverine fans know that. They're, uh, they're good. So, But guys, let me know what you guys think of the game down in the comments. Please consider hitting that subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification so you guys get more videos just like this one. All right, guys, I'll probably see you. Uh, when is it going to be? Probably Saturday night when I come back and do a follow-up video here to the Michigan State-Texas Tech game. All right, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. and hope to see you guys again soon. Deuces. Take care, guys.